Hello and welcome to Binge Watch, a brand new series here on the Kalamaki channel. Potentially. Because as you might be aware, I have reacted to a lot of reality shows here on this channel, and I've never actually finished one. So instead of continuously blue balling my viewers, which is a mad sentence, I've decided to start this new series where we react to the entirety of a reality show that you guys want me to watch, and I put it all into one video. So yes, that's right, I sat here and recorded a reaction video for over six hours. I mean, fucking hell. I should have really stuck to the Jubilee reaction, shouldn't I? But if you do enjoy this concept, please let me know in the comment section down below what you want me to react to next time, and hopefully it won't take me six months to upload this time. Well, let's talk about today's video, because today we are watching Jury Duty. It's a new series on Amazon Freebie, documenting what it's like to be part of the jury, but the twist is, they're all actors. Kind of. You see, one person isn't an actor, and it's this guy, Ronald Gladden. A bloke who just believes he's part of a small jury documentary and has no idea that everyone else's mission is to fuck with him and make him feel like he's living in a fever dream. This show gets extremely addicting the further we get into it, and I do have to give credit to Gunner TV Live because I believe he was the first person to make a video about this on YouTube, so I'll leave a link to his channel in the description as well as a link to the actual show. But enough of the rambling, let's get into the reaction. When they say jury of your peers, I think that's accurate. From the people that I've seen in the waiting room, you have everybody from all classes of people, age groups, everything, races, ethnicities, you name it. Everybody's in that waiting room, I feel like. You want a Twix? No, <laughs> Did you just go to the vending machine? You know what, right? This would be like my worst nightmare because I'm such like an antisocial person, I feel like. Like not in a dickish way, but when I'm out and about doing things, the last thing I want to do is actually like speak to people. So if I ever had to do one of these like jury duty things where I had to sit around for most of the day, just kind of like talking to strangers, I think I would probably have a bit of a breakdown. My, um, my name's Noah. I, I just moved here to LA. I'm from a, from a kind of small town. Um, Everyone in my hometown said that people in LA were mean. But this is really shot like The Office, isn't it? Like, I'm getting the inspiration already. I'm sorry to bother you, but can I take a picture with you, please? What's that? Can I take a picture with you, please? James Mars? Is that actually a celebrity? Okay, right, I need some context, Ed Quick. Is James Marsden actually a celebrity? We need to know. James Paul Marsden is an American actor and voice actor, and it is actually the same person. What's he been in? He was in Sonic and the Hedgehog. Fucking hell. Well, you've really hit rock bottom since then, haven't you? How do you go from such a classic like Sonic and the Hedgehog to jury duty? God, honestly, I hope you're doing all right at home, mate, because that must be tough. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. Yes, you yeah. too. I love you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh shit, dude, that's right. Now you're from. You're an X-Men. Oh. <laughs> oh, he was in X-Men, and I just went straight to Sonic and the Hedgehog. Uh, James, if you are watching this, I apologize. I didn't know your best work. But I've, I've been in like so much stuff. It's like X-Men and Hairspray and. Oh, so he's gonna come across as like the dickhead celebrity. I'm assuming here. What do people usually say when they're trying to like get out of this? Like, what's like the move? Like. I'm only going off the thing and I've seen on Family Guy, and that's probably not <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Was she, Peter pretends to be racist to get out of jury duty. Nah, that, that's a good choice. Honestly, Ronald, you should probably do that because no one's going to see this apart from the people in the court, right? It's not like they're filming a reality show or anything. I watched Sonic last night, dude. You did last night. Hey, fire. 54. Honestly, Ronald, you seem like a lovely bloke, but you might be doing a bit too much at this point. <laughs> you know you can get away from it without it seeming a bit weird because it is like James Marsden who's been in like X-Men and Sonic and stuff like that. But if you said that to like a YouTuber, can you imagine that conversation? Oh, hi Callum, don't want to make things weird, but I did go home yesterday and watch your 14th episode of Eight Passengers, eh? That Jodie Hild brand. What a bastard. Are there any other reasons aside from this trip that you feel that you would not be able to be a good juror for this matter? Um, I, um, I, 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 sir, I'm, I'm, I also am, uh, racist. Sir, please have a seat. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a racist. Oh, can you imagine being Ronald in this scenario? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not, I'm not racist. I, um, I was, okay. I was told that that would, would work too. Who told you that? Oh no. Don't um, blame Ronald. Snitch. All right, never mind. If I put John DeRose, oh, you would test that you are not a racist. Is no. That Ronald has a stand up in front of everyone. He's like, uh, well, Your Honor, you, you don't understand. Um, Peter Griffin said it. Did you buy or rent Sonic? That's on Hulu. It's a bummer. If you would have bought it, I would have got a dollar. 
And that, folks, is how it feels when a multi-millionaire Twitch streamer asks for a donation. <laughs> I feel like there's a chance that I might be an unwelcome uh, distraction. Why is that, sir? I'm a recognizable public figure. My most recent movie is this movie, Sonic the Hedgehog, and we were just, this gentleman and I were just chatting about it earlier and yesterday, and he's a big fan, and, and we and were talking to this gentleman. <laughs> Stand up. Do you know who uh, this fellow no, is? I do, yeah. It took me a little bit to notice him yesterday, but I recognized him, yes. Do you think that, that him sitting would be a distraction? Oh, here we go. Thought for me, no. Oh, Ronald, how are you gonna do him like that? Be seated, please. Okay, typically, what happens in... What the hell is going on? Uh-oh. Mr. Morrison! Yo, 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 yo. Oh, he's definitely hired the paparazzi, hasn't he? These paparazzi, are they here for you? I believe so. This is my lot in life, <laughs> sir. They follow me, they, they you, you can't- This really is just like the LA influencer scene, isn't it? Like if you replace James with someone like, I don't know, Tanner Mojo, and then the paparazzi with the Hollywood fix, you've got yourself an actual reality there. I will not let this case result in a mistrial. I will be damned if my 38 year career ends in a mockery. We are going to sequester the jury. You'll be back here tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. You will bring personal belongings for at least a week. I don't know the definition of the word. I Googled it, it's isolated. Isolated. Separate. Okay, right, I appreciate that because I genuinely had no fucking clue what they were going on about. So what, do they have to actually sleep there? Is that what, is that, what that means? Please put your phone and hand over any tablets. I have an uh, iPad on. That comes uh -huh, what too. is that? Oh, it's a, um, it's a wearable electronic <laughs> device. Right. Uh, it, it, the wire connects it to this uh, a handy and fashionable keyboard. No, that's coming in here too. Yeah, no. Odd had a prosthetic ear that worked as his Bluetooth. I mean, they're trying to get this guy to come across as like the really weird one that you wouldn't want to hang out with, but I'm more impressed than anything. Like, I want to speak to this bloke. Nobody having their phone is definitely an opportunity for us to bond and get to know each other within a matter of minutes of everyone getting up their phones because nobody had anything to do and we started socializing, so. God, actual conversation with actual humans. I really couldn't think of anything worse. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I have the honor of representing Miss Jacqui Hillgrove in this matter. Prior to this event, she enjoyed life. She enjoyed what she was creating, but since then, she's been clinically depressed, heavily medicated, and barely able to get out of bed. Allow me to play this video. This is what we will prove to you during the trial. The defendant left his home after an altercation with his mother. Ah, uh, it seems like the defendant is a big fan of heavy metal. He must be guilty. I recognize a headbang when I see one, and anyone whose favorite genre of music is heavy metal deserves to be jailed. Just my opinion. The defendant both used drugs at work and encouraged others to do so. As a result of his wildly out of control drug and alcohol abuse, the defendant mishandled an important order which overwhelmed the machines, resulting in catastrophic damage. And then after operating the machine in a negligent manner, he passed out under a pile of t-shirts soaked in his own urine. Try not to judge a book too much by its cover, but I mean, he had the really long hair, kind of the unkept shaven face. Yeah, and we found out he listened to the heavy metal. Why are you ignoring the main piece of evidence? Just need to get logged on here. And I want to assure this court um, that we also have a uh, video presentation that is uh, pretty phenomenal, and I just need a moment. He is a dusty ass attorney. I'd be mad if that was my lawyer. <laughs> I'd be pissed. I'm a big fan of this woman, you know? She's my favorite so far, I think. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Man? I just didn't you know if you saw that we have the, um, the, the door. Oh, is this chair? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, nice. yes. No, I didn't even see that. God, this really is my worst nightmare. Like, not only does he have to communicate with strangers for a week straight, but he's also staying in a room that has access to the room right next to him that has strangers in it. Yeah, I would actually rather be the defendant to, uh, pissed on himself after smoking too much, to be honest. The, the two rooms that, uh, we have are next to each other. They're adjoining. So I slipped a note to uh, Ronald just to let him know some uh, rudimentary signs. And he has a lot of cool gadgets, doesn't he? Now he's got like the headlamp. God, I'm really impressed so far. I see what you're trying to do, producers. Trying to make him come across the weird one, but uh, he's my favorite so far, all right? Screw this woman, I like him. Three knocks equal I have leftover food if you'd like any. 
Yeah, that's, that's exactly what he did. And then I could see his thought process too, because when we first got here, we didn't know what- God, in all seriousness, Ronald is being far too nice in this scenario. If you're continuously knocking on my door while I'm trying to sleep, then we might actually end up in court for different reasons. Can today. But what, whatever you like, that's Go to the bathroom and rub one out. <clears throat> yep, do it now. Why well, you got the time? Wait, sorry, did I just hear that right? That's Go to the bathroom and rub one out. <clears throat> yep, do it now. Yeah, I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> You probably could have kept that to yourself, mate. I've literally just paused at the perfect frame where you can see Ronald is really contemplating his life at this point. As promised, I have an animation today that is uh, equally awesome. What with all the animations? Like, is that something that genuinely happens in court? Has AI really got to a point where lawyers are using it to animate crime scenes? Or is that just part of the qualification of becoming a lawyer that I wasn't aware of? You know, you've got to be really good at CGI. So let me just get this set up. I assure you that this will be worth the time. Counsel, if we take a break, we're going to be ready today. Absolutely, Your Honor. Oh, oh no, what you like? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. He's having a mare. See, at this point, I probably would be feeling sorry for him. I just get really bad secondhand embarrassment, so it would probably start eating me up in a scenario, and I would want to say, like, oh, maybe he is innocent just to kind of get it over and done with. So in other words, I'm probably not fit to be part of the jury. Who would have thought? Mexican restaurant menu, where is no, that at? It's gotta have the same stuff. I don't know why this is so I hard. I Listen, we don't have to do Mexican. We could do pizzas or we could do subs. Uh, we had subs yesterday. Can we play guys for Me? Yeah. 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 Okay, I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't. Oh, he's human. <laughs> We're about to see Ronald go on his villain arc. <laughs> he's starting to go mental. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Because imagine if it was you in this scenario and you're thinking, like, I must be in an alternate reality. Why is everything going wrong? He actually took a year off between his high school senior year and his freshman year of college, and he went to Nepal. What he does is he finds old bicycles. Oh. I, I remember that. From the 70s. He likes bike. old bikes, and he refurbishes <laughs> that's right, them. That's right, that's right. And he gives them... <laughs> Ron is losing his mind. And you can't blame him. He's got a lot further than I feel like I would have in this scenario. Tim made this. Look at that. It's so sweet. It's like a lucky bird. A good memory with him. Uh, I everyone else went apart from Ron. Damn, dude. Everyone got this? Oh, I did bring it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I would hear this so much. Everyone got a swan apart from Ron, which rhymes. So not only is it a really depressing story, but it could be used in a rap. God, talk about adding salt to the wound. You said you had a couple interactions. Anything you want to share? Me? I mean, we it was very brief. I, we literally just said a few <laughs> words kind of in passing. Just go to the bathroom and rub one out. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> he really should have stood up and said that, though, right? Like, imagine everyone sat there like, yeah, he was he was helping people out in Nepal. And, uh, oh, he was so kind. He made me this paper swan. And then Ron stands up. He's like, he, he, he went for a wank earlier. Um, and I thought that was just really inspirational. A couple sentences, yeah. Just passing by, how you doing? Just things like that. I'm really starting to get into this show, you know. We got this video queued up for the oh, cloud. Oh, God, here we go again. As you can see here, uh, my client showed up for work on the day of the incident. <laughs> and the video is not... Show it to me. It's not, it's not working, Your Honor. I don't, I don't understand. Um, is this what the jury just saw? Uh, yes. I mean, he seems innocent to me. Juror number six... My understanding is that you showed uh, guts or, or what I would call chutzpah by stepping up during this time of crisis and getting that lunch order in. I'm just going to do pieces if that's cool. Can we I'm go? fine with that. I'm hoping that you are up for it. You're the guy who's in charge mm -hmm. for what that's worth. Yes, Why don't Ron. we recess for lunch? I wanted to be known. I didn't order lunch. Very dishonest, Ron. Not going to lie. You just praise you for something that you didn't even do. You actually are the guilty one after all. Oh, shit. Dude, I don't like this. I was like, because if it was up to vote, I was like, if I got voted in, I could just tell him I didn't want to do it. I was like, if oh, the judge gives, it? no, I don't want. To. My memory, I mean. Oh, dude, you don't gotta do that. that. Him. That's your, oh, that's your memory. I mean, I appreciate it, but you don't gotta yeah. do that, Robbie. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's really nice. A tear to my eye. <laughs> Honestly, this guy is my hero. It makes me sad that he's an actor because I feel like I would want to be friends with someone like this. It's essentially two crutches. I'll just sit here. He's attached to like knee pads and then he's attached them to his backside. You straight? Yeah, maybe there is a few design flaws, but I still hold the opinion that it's a work of art, all right? It's got potential. What's she even like, there with? Uh, she's there with her friends, Brenna, Francisca, Franco, I don't know, but um, they're all just like a nice little girl group. Is Cody a girl? Yeah. I know a lot of Cody's actually, and all of them are guys. Cody Junket, <laughs> he, his family lived outside actually, and he was like always dirty all the time. Agent Cody Banks, Cody Bryant. <laughs> Cody Bryant. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, barely ASMR if you're wondering. You know, he's kind of an outcast. People think he's a weirdo. They push him off to the side. And all he's trying to do is just help in his own way. Oh, bless him. <laughs> you picked the nicest guy to mess with for your fuck's sake. Patient are getting, um, <laughs> oh, what's he got now? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't even care about the actual concept of this show anymore. I just want to see what gadgets this guy has. So what it looked like is that he now has a device that is kind of like chopsticks. On like one finger. I think that's what it was. Cody can be boy or girl. I have a There's nephew a named I think Cody. I a sophomore named Cody. It's a girl. Uh, all right, okay, that's enough. I is really, different. Really. It's really interesting names in this script. You want to take a guess? Caleb? Name Caleb? Is that a guy or a girl? <laughs> I would guess it. it's a guy. He's right. I, I really like this guy because he genuinely is like every LA influencer imaginable. It's like, you know, when you watch someone's video and they're like, oh yeah, I've got something like really big coming up, but I'm actually not allowed to tell you. It's just like a really big opportunity, but I'm just, I can't tell you, you know, it's part of the contract. I signed an NDA. It's like, all right, mate, like what the fuck are you telling us for then? Would you mind stating your name for the jury? Randall Cody Schiller. <sighs> and who is your current employer? Us. <laughs> I can't that far too late. The PTSD's kicking in from the name Cody. God, you've got to feel for him. You're not guy Cody, but that's actually not his first name. I guess he doesn't really count as Cody. He's he's uh, Randall. So. <laughs> Ron, come on, man. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. The poor bloke scared and kissed Cody's a boy's name. God, can you not relate? Pre-incident, you said she was feeling a bit of anxiety. Yeah. Um, could you care to elaborate on that for us a bit? Sure. The change in her was so drastic that it was it was alarming. I am awake. Oh no. Come on, Ronald, you're the leader. You should be sorting her out. I'm only calling you because you're the foreman. Has she been sleeping a lot? I think this is like the fourth or fifth time we've hit her today. He's a dirty snitch, Ronald, you know. Like, <laughs> I said he was a nice bloke throughout this, but he's snitched at least two times now. He snitched our boy James, and now he's snitching on someone who just wants a bit of a kip. Like, come on, mate. You know, Christine out there, she was like, I can help you look on the internet if you want. We could go look on her phone and see if Heidi is following anyone. You've just been like sad since we talked about that. I feel like it could give you some peace of mind. But should I, Ronald? I talked to you about this Cody thing. I wouldn't trip, but this that's just like, me. And this is God, this is really turning into Love Island, isn't it? Like you've got this woman here who's trying to destroy this guy's relationship with the whole Cody thing, and then I imagine by the end of it, they're probably gonna get together. That'll be my prediction. Okay, so Heidi does have a friend named Cody, but the account is private. And the little circle that shows you who you are. It's, it's a girl. No, it's of a sunset. So now we had to put in a friend request God. and we're waiting for <clears throat> Christine to it to be accepted. The plot thickens. Can you describe for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what it is that you do for a living, Miss Telford Warren? Sure. Um, I am a social media brand ambassador for myself from my own account. She's an influencer. Account as well, which belongs to my dog, who's a pet, who I do also brand negotiation deals for him as well. Yeah, she's definitely promoted NordVPN at one point. You don't need to tell me. We met on Instagram because one of my accounts is for the pet awareness, which is like combating toxic beliefs. Like when people say adopt, don't shop. And I was getting lots of like nasty comments and stuff from that. And so Jacqui had 
come to support me in the comments. And then I DM'd her like, thanks girl. And then she DM'd me back like, thanks, no problem girl. And then we started talking and that's when we knew we had mutuals. And so we went to a birthday party. Well, she sounds like a YouTuber doing a story time video and adding useless information to make the video like 40 minutes long. We get it, you want your mid rolls, but now is not the time. She's like, she has the most, almost the most amount of followers that you could have. And so followers, when you follow someone else, you're basically saying like, I think you're better than me. So like, if that influencer has the most, that means most of everybody in this room knows or thinks she's better than us, yeah. which is true. So then when she says stuff like that, then we're like, okay. A hundred percent. That only makes sense. Like I have what, nearly 400,000 subscribers on my main channel. That means I'm better than all 400,000 of you. I hope you know that. Like you don't have to feel bad about it. I'm just telling you a fact. Like I am better than you. Like you're all kind of like peasants compared to me. You know? Exhibit number four. At Cinnamon and Sparrow, when you give someone a chance and they literally slap you in the face. Exhibit number 31. At Cinnamon and Sparrow, um, bones with more bones and then just the bones and then bones with other ones. I would personally say it's like skull and bones and then skull and then skull and bones. I feel like you need to probably up your knowledge in emojis, but I'm not gonna be too picky. What do you think it meant when the influencer said, I can't even never again? It means like she can't, she couldn't even On guard. ever and never again. Period. What about at Cinnamon and Sparrow, nothing about this is okay? Like, it's bad and it's not okay. Dead ass. How about Cinnamon and Sparrow canceling my order? Like, they made an order and now they're gonna cancel it. You know, personally, I'm not a big fan of cancel culture, but each of their own. Pardon me. Juror number five. This is becoming a real problem. Juror number six, you're the four person, and it's uh -oh. your duty to keep the jury in line. Come on, Ronald. Are you capable of doing that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you know what? Let's take 15 minutes for coffee and, and madam, I suggest- Wait, so is Ronald gonna become like a big evil leader who has to keep everyone in check, right? You know, I'm starting to get into this quite a lot now. Counsel, any other witnesses? Your Honor, at this time, the plaintiff rests. <laughs> keep her in check, Ronald, keep her in check. I wish it was somebody's birthday. Because then we'd have cake. Right. She really is saying what everyone's thinking, right? Sometimes I also do feel like it should be someone's birthday because then we could get cake. Uh oh. Cody. I don't know if you want to look at that right now. Oh no. <laughs> that could be someone's cousin, maybe, or her friend Brenna, I think, maybe has a brother. So Dog that could be, he maybe just like went on the. Said, trip. No, his name is Code Red. That's Cody. If I was no, I would f you guys up, not my girlfriend. They shouldn't be putting that shit in your head. <laughs> oh, bless him. He really is like trying to be the peacemaker here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that would be hard to defend against, wouldn't it? Yeah, go off, Ravi. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That was good. Well in, Ravi. Well in, man. Oh my God, that was beautiful. What was that song about? It's a uh, when some. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was just about me, bitches. <laughs> if I sing that song, I can go to a place without Did betrayal. Mm. You gotta teach Noah the song. To him. Yeah, because his girlfriend's standing with a hard guy. <laughs> standing with a hard guy is a mad sentence. There were leaky barrels all around here filled with chemicals. There were barrels there. There were barrels there. Get my detective on right quick. They were definitely trying to hide something or clean it up to, you know, make it look presentable for us. Bro, it's the t-shirts, dude. Oh, the misprints? Yeah, actually, here, let me see that flashlight. Look at how many boxes are right here. Is this actually, like, what happens when you're part of a jury, by the way? Surely not, right? You can just go, like, the scene of the crime and, like, start inspect their thing because this actually seems quite fun to me. The whole, like, sitting in the courtroom and listening to people waffle, not for me, but this type of stuff, it's like a real-life game of Cluedo. It's too weird up here, bro. Hi, guys. No, no, no! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. That was funny as though. <laughs> okay? Oh, I'm good, except for the fact that I seem to have uh, soiled my shirt. Um, the judge will be angry with me, I think, if I go bare-chested downstairs. Oh, just take the shirt. Oh, he's tampering with the evidence. Good. Ronald, you should have said something, man. Line. This ain't that hard, but where's x Man X? I don't know. There. Looks like you're going to the bathroom, maybe. Go get x Man. All right. Go oh, find. Come on, Ronald, save the day. 
Yeah, oh. I don't know what his plan was oh, because no. he couldn't really <laughs> operate that forklift. I mean, he doesn't work there. He's not licensed to do it. Maybe he just needed the feel and the seats. Yeah. Or maybe he's just a big fan of David Dobrik. Have you ever thought about that? Like, all I'm saying, Ronald, is make sure you're wearing a helmet. Or, preferably, protective glasses. For no reason in particular. I feel bad for him. I feel bad too, but he's a dumb that got high and messed up some t-shirts. I don't know, because they said that he threw out the, the misprint shirts, but that's what we found up in that room. There were just boxes and boxes of misprinted shirts. There was? Yeah. Wow, well done, Ronald. You've solved the case. Very, very long bus ride. We needed a night out for sure. We needed a group. time as a group. I'm gonna get the blackened salmon. Unless God, we can get an apple. Honestly, I know I've said it so many times already, but Ronald is such a nice guy, isn't he? Look at him, he's got his arm around her, comforting her, you know? Like, he just seems like such a nice guy. They could have really picked the dickhead for this, couldn't they? Abajo, abajo, al centro, al centro, adentro, adentro. God, I have no idea what happened to her face for a second there, but she really did end up like me on most Saturday nights. Well, actually, that does make me look like an alcoholic. I do just want to say, only drank once this month. So, uh, feel like that's an achievement. Yes. Pull it up and then... Oh, wait, sorry. I've just clocked. Uh, we're like five days into the month. I did mean, like, including last month, all right? I didn't think me drinking once in five days was an achievement. That would make me seem like an alcoholic. Not to pressure you guys or anything. It's just, oh, you know... Is this guy with you? The guy in your dwarf shirt? Yes. Yeah. Todd? What's his name? Todd? 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 Do you want to talk to him? Absolutely. Yeah. Why? Uh -oh. Oh, we, well, we'd like that shirt. You seem like you could be one of us and sit right at this table. Hey, no, no, no. That's all right. Not at the Oh, what's going on here? I don't know. It was crazy. I literally was talking to the guy, and he's like, oh, we've got like 15 minutes, you know? And I'm like, yeah, thanks. And then he's like, well, that guy in that shirt, he's like, is he with you? I was like, yeah. What are they complaining like, about? I did have some customers complain about your shirt. Uh -oh. And um, it's something very offensive. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble, or I didn't know what the what it meant. Did they say what it meant? It says it's a secret code for white supremacists. Oh bloody hell! Well, so we now have two racists in the crew. Oh, and that's why they got the table. All right, God. There's a lot of racists in this TV show. It must be said. We have some. We, we have some shirts. I'll go find a. Thank Hawaii you. I'm so food sorry. Um, you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna make a movie out of the movie that's being made here. This is. Insane. <laughs> so, so many crazy things. Little did he know. <laughs> God, when he said that line, the directors must have been like, oh, that's TV gold. That's it right there. We'll use that in the trailer. Thank you very much, mate. Where is Noah? That was my third double margarita. I don't feel anything. Oh, wouldn't that be so funny if Noah's getting drunk and didn't know it? <laughs> oh, he's gonna know. Hey, Todd, did you find Noah? Uh-oh. Dude. Uh, oh my god. That's my double? <laughs> He's been getting drunk. 100%. Ronald's loving it. <laughs> He's had three doubles and he doesn't drink. Oh my god. Noah! All right. hey. Are you the thing is, right, surely Ronald must be looking at this thinking, that's not how a normal person acts when they've had a drink. Yeah, I just had a crazy conversation with my girlfriend. Oh, how'd you call her? I, there's a phone in the kitchen. What happened? I just told her what? that the Cody thing is old shit. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. It was so weird. It's like I, I just got this sudden surge of like confidence. All the stuff I never would have said to Heidi. I was like, I say it. <laughs> you know what, Noah? I don't really believe you because you've had a couple of drinks and you're acting like this. So what else did you have when you were gone from the table? We've all been to bars before, all right? We know what actually happens when certain people go to the toilet and come back and seem a little bit more fucked. You can be honest with us. Okay, you. so you leave. He's drunk. Yeah, I can clearly see that. I can also clear. All y'all must be drunk. Why? Why is this bill over $1,500? Oh, wow. oh, sorry. I take it back, mate. Maybe he wasn't sniffing something in the toilet because that is a lot of alcohol. I will arrest every last one of y'all if this shit is not figured out. Oh, wait. Okay, so are they going to put it on Ronald? Because he is, like, the leader, right? What happens here? It's not, it's not funny. Oh, yeah, I get my wallet out. <laughs> I didn't even get my wallet. James, yeah. he got money. Just ask him to pay. Come on, Ronald. Like, you, y'all tight, y'all talk. Oh, this would be so awkward, man. <laughs> yeah, I would struggle so much with this. Like, so they're obviously telling him to ask the celebrity to pay for it. I just wouldn't be able to do that. And you can already tell by his face. He's really hating his life right now. I'll pick up this bill. If someone beats me in arm wrestling. 
What do you think about that? What? For real? <laughs> Ronald's in the gym all day. Every day. Oh, Yo, he works at Every time. Yes, he's right. Like, oh, yes, come on, son. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, dude. Kick his fing ass. Kick his fing ass. Kick his fucking ass. I got an arm wrestle, James. Come on, yeah. come on. Come on. Classic gym lad, by the way. <laughs> you see the way he's like, oh, do I really have to arm wrestle? Okay, right, I'll do it. <laughs> come on, Ronald. I believe in you. Come on, Ronald. You can do it. Oh, yes. My guy, Ron. You know for a fact he feels so min right now, doesn't he? <laughs> he feels on top of the world. There is nothing more ego boosting than beating someone in an arm wrestle and having a group of people cheer for you. I've been thinking about it for like an hour or two. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that I broke up with Heidi yesterday. Oh, <gasps> Yeah. You remember in your conversation now? Oh, God. Yeah. Come on, you Ronald, know, something they say is that uh, drunken words are sober thoughts. There's a little bit of truth in there, too. So that's why I was asking her, like, do you actually believe that she's telling you the truth? Uh, therapist Ronald, eh? How am I trying to reach out to him and tell him my deepest thoughts? So the defense called um, the lifelong friend of Trevor Morris up there, the defendant. And what's the nature of your relationship with Trevor? We've been best friends for since seventh grade. Hmm. Mm. So would you say it's safe to describe Trevor as reliable? Well, before we get into the actual defense of this, I can say one thing for sure. I'm glad there's no animations. You can really imagine that me, Canyon, watched this show whilst also giving out a very big sigh of relief as he realized that his job is definitely safe. It's true, isn't it, sir, that you were once arrested for masturbating in a public movie? <laughs> oh, fuck That's it. That's correct, isn't it? <laughs> How was that the first question? You've got Trevor here who smokes too much and passes out in a factory and pisses on himself, and then you've got his best pal who got arrested for masturbating in a movie theater, eh? You can see why they got along. That's, yes, that's true. <laughs> Which theater was it? Uh, it was the, at the Grove. It happens to the best of us, man, don't you worry. <laughs> he like said that Trevor was a really nice guy, but then it came out later that he masturbated his penal off at Fucking the Grove. Hell. Fucking hell, this guy in the bottom left couldn't look less interested if he tried. What what was the movie? Good defense, good defense. Because if it's a really good movie, F1 knows you're allowed to masturbate in the movie theater. Like, that's the rule, right? Pacific Rim Uprising. Huh? Pacific Rim Uprising. I believe that was the second one. Pacific Rim Uprising. I've never heard of it. Oh, so it's something to do with robots fighting by the looks of it. So I reckon he's justified. <laughs> he did say he thought he was alone in the theater, but I mean... To me, like, that just shoots a lot of his credibility out the window. Oh, don't use that, Ronald. You're wearing a Rick and Morty shirt. I reckon every Rick and Morty fan has masturbated in an unusual place before. Don't lie to me. How many nights a week have you observed Trevor smoking marijuana? I'll just lie, come on. Probably don't most snitch. nights. Oh, what the Earlier, fuck? <laughs> you said that he lives with you and that that's fine. But I sense some trepidation in your voice. Oh, yeah. No. Is it fine that he still lives with you? No, come on. No. Oh, no, come on. I guess I'm getting to the point where I feel like a change needs to happen. Well, uh, Trevor Matt, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it looks like you're going down. His own mama called him a bum. Oh, it's his mom. Did I, think I just it's not even call that? I was a roommate. Facts of the case rather than uh, a mother's tears or a friend's laughter or uh, a friend's uh, masturbating. Fucking put that on a t-shirt. Ronald, uh -oh. could, could you help me please really quick? What? Could you come here? Hey, could, could you could you please just, just... Oh God. I know I'm telling you it's a misunderstanding. I, he's now gonna have to talk to the girlfriend, of course. Exactly. I have no idea what he said to you. All I know is that Noah got drunk on accident. That's the, all the messages I'm trying to relay to you. I'm not trying to get in your guys' personal business. Two minutes. She's not mad. Oh no. Oh, oh not... no. What did she say? She not said she was mad. I, I don't know, man. You should, you should probably call her when you got more time, for sure. Call her because we're- Oh, he didn't tell her. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? In his mind, they're without phones. They've still got a few days left of this. He knows that Noah can't contact his girlfriend. So there's no point stressing him out 
while he can't really do anything about it. So I reckon he's done the good thing. A plus Ronald. So, I mean, did she say anything about the breakup? Does she want to get back together? Is it? Is it? It didn't sound like it. Oh, <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> his defense or the his sorry, his attorney took a, a, an interesting tactic. And your mother testified that she's observed you drinking and smoking pot almost every night of the week. Is that also correct? I was confused. <laughs> his lawyer really said, you know what? No matter what happens, are you? I'm not going to lose. <laughs> if you're going down, I ain't going with you, all right? You're guilty. This is probably the most unorthodox trial that I've presided over. Mr. Morris has chosen to represent himself for the remainder of the trial. But we all love an underdog story. I believe in you, Trevor, mate. What the hell did you bring me here for? Brings back memories, don't it? I know I said some awful things. Hurt will do that to you. You can actually kind of just... just oh, Ronald's just getting head. his acting chops out of here, eh? Oh, I got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I got. Let me try it, right. <clears throat> End scene. Oh, wait, did that, is that what they say at the beginning? Or is it cut? I don't know what this... Right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, I got... <laughs> fuck's sake. God, I can't do acting to save my life. Oh, I got wounds. <laughs> Fucking what was that? Oh, I got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I got. Okay, right, yeah. I'm not going to be in a movie anytime soon, am I? Oh, I've got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I got. Okay, right. I'm better than him. Okay, tell me in the comment section who's better at acting, me or Ron. I got wounds. Sometimes I feel like that's all I got. I got wounds. Sometimes oh, fuck, right, I give up. You seem nice. Hey, Ronald. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mid scene. That was a... <laughs> It's all right. What's up? Yo, dude, can I talk to you about something? I got kind of a little situation going What's on. What's up, bud? I don't want to interrupt. I just got, I just got to talk to you for like a sec about... Yeah, you want me to step out? Or... Um, I got to take... You want to come take... in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah, do you yeah, care yeah. if I take a leak? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this must be so exhausting for Ronald, man. I know, like, he's, like, the main character in this without him really knowing, but every single person wants to speak to him, and I would absolutely despise that. <laughs> Last night, after you left the game room, I was hanging out with Jeannie, and it was just us. <clears throat> and I feel like she's not going to be, like, into a dude like me, you know what I mean? Because I'm Jeannie? so, like, yeah. You like got to talk to her, dude. And Jeannie oh, has outright man, Ronald, told eh? as well, too, that you are literally the type of guy that she's into. She said that she likes kind of, like, withdrawn, nerdy, kind of inexperienced whoa, doesn't really know whoa 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 ronald <laughs> there's no need in that yeah so she said she's kind of into like people who are a bit withdrawn and like a bit nerdy you know and like maybe a bit ugly and uh, a bit of a freak you know just kind of the person that most people aren't attracted to well i guess that's you i don't know would you help me like be kind of like a wingman maybe just help me like talk to her i'm just i'm too dude help him out man i'm i'm good i'm gonna read over this a little more anyway hey Jeannie, what's hey. up? I was starting to lay out, but it was too cold. It was definitely cold out. <laughs> uh, um, you okay? Uh, can I talk? Can I talk to you in just one one second, really, Ron? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Don't put him in that position. That's not how it works. Okay, right. Let's see the wingman and skills from Ronald. Ronald, what is she wearing? What is that? No, what is, is that you? <laughs> I'm just. I'm looking for my shoes. These are the kind of guys you like. <laughs> Jeannie, would you would you want to um, hang out? Yes. Yeah. Go on, Do you want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I got James Mars entertained. You guys have fun. Catch you later. Now that's a wingman I've ever seen it. Uh, I didn't get to take that leak because there's a pretty large turd in the toilet. Yeah, I was like, what is and that? And I tried smell? to. No, I tried to. I tried, don't try to flush it because. Oh. It might have stirred it up. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah, I wouldn't, uh... Yeah, that was already in there. Oh, what yeah. the but fuck, I... man? Are you allowed to show shit on YouTube? I gotta be honest with you, that that was me. Uh, but please, don't tell anybody. It's fine, bro. I don't give a shit. There ain't nothing down by the bridge, Doris. There's nothing for me anyway. I went... Sorry. Give me the lead-in line, yep. maybe. It's the key to all of this. You gotta go back there, Caleb. You gotta face no, those No, no. There's nothing for me anywhere, Doris. It's not the line. I'm not gonna lie, this is literally what I'm like when I record videos. <laughs> I repeat each line like seven times. In a video like this, it's easy because... In a video like this, it's easy because I'm not re... <laughs> that was a clear example, wasn't it? Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, in a video like this, it's easy because I'm not reading lines, I'm just speaking, but apparently I can't do that either. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. We're good to go. That was something else. Beautiful. <laughs> so that was you, huh? It might have been. Mm, obviously. Oh, he actually go. took yeah, the blame. Too. Ronald is too nice for this show, man. He's just took the blame for a very big shit because big celebrity man here was like, I don't want the tabloids to find out. Good guy, Ron. It really makes me think, do I have anyone in my life that would take the blame for a shit? And I'm not sure if I do. That makes me really sad. Damn, you probably want to restart this whole thing though, huh? Ah. Uh, you want to start from the top? God. Where is God? God. Where is God? Was that okay? No, that was still shit, wasn't it? Right? I, I actually should probably give up. I, I, I can't. I can't in and out. Like that's not. That's that's penetrative pre premarital sex. Like, that's wrong, right? So so soaking <laughs> would be where I just put wrong it in, answers. and then it's like, what if we were just kind of bouncing, right? And it like wasn't me. Like what loopholes? Loophole. Exactly. Yeah. What, what if, if bouncing? So what if like somebody was like just freeze and sit still? I stay still. Right. Somebody else. Jumps on the bed. Because then it's, it's not me. That <laughs> is just going up and down. Don't and tell me they're about to make Ron jump on the fucking bed while he's two have sex. Like, obviously, that's not going to happen, but if that's what he's going to try and suggest to him, I want to see Ron's reaction. Someone else will have to come in and jump on your bed? I mean, whatever happens to the bed, it's like I can't, I can't really control that. God doesn't have to. Come on, Ron. How good of a friend are you? That. I mean, I'm glad that you're making progress. For sure. How can we help, sir? Yeah, short of me being the person jumping on the bed. So I'm not gonna do that for you, man. Oh, Ron, how dare you? I thought you were a nice guy. Okay. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's no way. Long. Seriously? Okay. All right, cool. Oh, real quick though, is she, no, I'm coming in? This was her idea. All right. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my God. Look. Good luck. Lord. <laughs> I kind of wish I could be Ron in this just to kind of see what it would be like to live in such a weird world for a week because he obviously thinks this is real so he must be thinking this is the most insane week of my life like he would have a lot of stories to tell who knows what's gonna happen at this point there have been so many just weird crazy things that have came up <laughs> don't actually know if I can show that on YouTube uh interesting okay Billy are we ready for episode six yeah, okay. That's it, play it. Mr. Morris, are you ready to proceed? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Just wherever you feel comfortable, sir. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So the twist could either be here that Trevor is going to turn out to be a really good fucking lawyer for himself, I guess, and give a very good argument and change everyone's opinions, or he's going to carry on being shit. Let's see. Would you please uh, state your name for the record? Oh, <laughs> well. Uh, hi, Trevor Julian Morris. Yeah, I think it was the latter, clearly. <laughs> Look at Ron's Thank face. you, and where do you currently reside? Oh my god. <laughs> Surely must get suspicious. Uh, I have here some photos which clearly show chemical barrels Objection. that were not- Objection, your honor. I believe he's showing you things that were not in evidence. I never received photographs and discovery from Mr. Sanders. Then uh, I'm sorry, sir. They can't come into evidence. He has admitted to passing out at his station, but he hasn't told us why. He hasn't told us it was because he was getting lightheaded due to poor working conditions. I I don't know why he wouldn't clear that up, but as of right now, this is where we stand. <laughs> oh, poor Ron, man. He's taking this so seriously, and everyone else just laughing at him behind the scenes. Um, but that's how we learned that Ken really likes gambling. We should play for just small stakes. Would you say this one is in the, in in the, the circle? In the circle? I mean, no, because, well, neither is this one technically, because it's yes. outside of the circle. Would you say this one is touching this one and uh, the end circle? I mean, it looks like it is. What does that mean? Oh, oh. I don't know what that means. This, is, uh. this was my reaction when I found out that established titles was a scam after I posted the sponsor. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish you you had uh, singles. No, 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 no. But We're not. No, no, no. Don't worry about okay, it. Don't worry about I, it. I, oh, I he's too nice, man. No, 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 no. That's not. a ridiculous number. Come on, kid. Oh. We're, not, we're not doing that. Oh, it's We're, okay. No, 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 no. You are so, so kid, kind. I'm not taking $20 from you, let alone $2,000. Hey, you better than me. I would have took the two grand. <laughs> My co-counsel and I are not uh, prepared to make a closing statement today. 
I knew this was gonna happen. I actually called out specifically what was gonna happen. Plaintiff was gonna get make a closing statement. Something crazy was gonna happen. We adjourned for the day. Oh yeah, you smashed it, mate. It's almost like it would be predictable what the ending was, as if it was like almost, I don't know, pre-planned. How are you that psychic? Because this happens every day, Barb. This, <laughs> there has not been a yeah, single Bob. day that we've had that's just been smooth. There's always something crazy that comes up. <laughs> this is literally feels like reality TV. <laughs> yeah, this is where the producers are like, yeah, say that again. I, I thought she was taller oh, no. and blonde and that she loved Ross. Oh no, what's happened to you then? Trouble in paradise, it seems. Plus, well, that was my wife, uh, Sonia, that came so, by. I just have to uh, be up front with all of you. Um, we've been separated for eight months. I was trying to put up the front that everything was okay because I was away from her, and I just want to apologize. I'm a liar, and um, I shouldn't have done that. Of all of the human organs that have suboptimal design, today has taught me that the heart is the most flawed of all. Honestly, Todd is always spitting facts. He really should be the one making a commentary channel. I reckon he'd have some great opinions about crypto. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff. And they can't prove that I caused the accident. Because I didn't. Please don't find me liable. And, uh... Thank you. Great defense, Trevor Mate. Right, let's see what Ronald thinks about it, eh? I feel really for the defendant's story. He had a very hard life. I feel for that because I did too. I had a very, very hard life. Um, from as early as I can remember, uh, people would taunt me. They called me Jackpot Jackie. No, they didn't, did because they? Because I'm from a wealthy family. And then as I got older, I was bullied every day, multiple times a day, for being tall and thin. I know you feel bad for Mr. Morris, whose story has affected me as well. But what about me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ronald is like, what the fuck? We're going to have deliberation starting tomorrow morning, and you will be given the exhibits. The four person will- <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that face in the background? I don't even know how you would describe that expression, but whatever it is, they need to make an emoji. It is your duty as jurors to consult with one another a of with a view towards this, reaching there? an agreement if you can do so. Your verdict, whether libel or not libel, must be unanimous. Ah, uh, so I see where this is probably gonna go, right? He's just said you've got to decide between us if he's libel or not libel, and they've all got to agree. So I'm assuming they're not all going to agree and Ron's probably going to lose his mind. Noah, how do you feel about this all coming to a close? I, uh, I, f I feel, um... Babe, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel anxious about it mostly. <laughs> Ron's loving this, man. Much <laughs> I just have this really, really, really bad feeling that not only gonna have people who are on the fence, but we're gonna have people who are on opposite sides of the fence. The judge did confirm yesterday that it has to be unanimous, so. Yeah, Ron, I'm sorry to break this to you, but something tells me they're probably gonna fuck with you. You told me that you you did not want to be foreman. I know. I, for I person, and I also did not, did not want to be for person. I'm glad he is, not, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check everybody out. <laughs> he just did the Frank Lampard thing where he's like laughing about something and then suddenly goes straight face. I realize that is um, a reference that a lot of you won't get, so I'm sorry about that. But to my football viewers out there who happen to watch commentary YouTube videos at the same time, uh, you'll get that one. Something tells me there's not that many of you. This is essentially us like us taking a vote right now. It's gauging yeah, yeah. how everybody feels. So how which way which way are we leaning? What's everybody feeling? I don't think the defendant is liable. That's me. I think he is. I think the defendant's liable. Oh, so it's gonna be 50-50, isn't it? For one. Do you know how you feeling? I feel that the defendant is not liable. The defendant is not liable. How are you feeling, Noah? I, I feel I feel the same I feel the same way. Do you have anything you want to God, support that? It's mental what sex will do to a man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, de I definitely agree. You know, just just coincidence, but I, I definitely agree. Well, at the moment, it feels to me like they're both liable, which means she didn't prove anything. Go but off. But if I have Go to off, decide, mate. I'd say he's liable. She basically just said, "You're both shit." Can we all disagree on that? Unfortunately, that's not really how it works in court, but I agree with you, Barbara. As you can see here, you guys, we're damn near split decision. 
pretty much half. Wow, eh? It's almost like it was planned. <laughs> Who would have thought? And we're not supposed to be talking about chemicals anyway because the judge said to strike it. The judge did order us to disregard this notion, but what I won't disregard is the fact that when Lonnie and I were at the factory, we pointed out that there were very clearly some barrels moved, but it is very possible that those barrels were moved. Oh. Oh, Ron's a little bit of a rebel, you know. The judge said, you're not allowed to mention the chemicals, but Ron said, fuck you, judge, I saw the barrels. Um, we were told that we would see the toxicology report. Um, he wasn't able to talk about it, but when we look at it, he confirmed what I've been talking about. His blood alcohol content is going to be very, very low because it's just going to be left over from the night before. That was key to me because if his blood alcohol content was very high, that means that more than likely he was drinking in the morning before he went to his shift which would have shown us that, yeah, you know, maybe he was drunk and maybe that's how this whole thing happened. Yeah, go off, Ronald. So what he just said right there was, if he had alcohol in his system, it probably means he's been drinking. And that is genius if I've ever seen it. I was a appointed the title of four person. It was my job to lead that was made abundantly clear that once we went into deliberation, it was my job to, you know, kind of take the wheel. Being at the whiteboard, writing everything out, it just felt like the right place to be. If I'm gonna be leading the conversation, I needed to be in a position to leave. Oh, he's taking this so seriously, bless him. I can't wait to see his reaction when he finds out that this isn't real. I mean, there's only one episode left after this, so hopefully we get to see it. But I don't think it was his negligence that caused him to input this wrong information. It sounds like he had poor working conditions. Going back to the comment Pat made- He's actually a good leader to be fair with, right? You are responsible for not only providing safe working conditions, but you are responsible for what your employees are doing too. This just wouldn't be me. I would be Barbara in this scenario. See, she's just like knitting. I wouldn't give a shit. I would be so zoned out. <laughs> I'm literally just thinking back to when I was in school. I couldn't concentrate to save my life. So, uh, well done, Ronald. You're clearly, and you've proven it many times during this, a better person than me. You can stop showing off now. Vanessa, we haven't heard from you for a while, so I'd love to hear from you. I'm having a hard time believing anything that Trevor says. Okay. Do you believe like the plaintiff side? Yeah, because like the plaintiff presented her case, right? If I don't believe what Trevor's saying. And you have got to bear in mind that she also did like really live a hard life, you know? She was really rich, she could go on all the holidays and stuff. But what if she didn't want to go on holidays? Have you ever thought about that? All I'm saying is, is that we always talk about the less fortunate, but can we have some empathy for the rich people of the world? They're the real victims here. I will tell you why I, I changed my vote. We are a decision-making body, and I take what you say, and Ronald, what you said was very important for me, to reconsider what potential manipulation there may have been. Are you saying that basically things don't add up? Much shorter way than what I just said. Yes, thank you. <laughs> there was a bit of sass in that, you know? <laughs> he basically looked at Ronald and went, well, yeah, but you don't have to be a fucking smart ass about it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Pat, read me off what we had. Not liable. Not liable. Can we Not get a full liable. house? Can we get a full house? Not liable. Oh shit. Not liable. One, one more. One more. Liable. Liable. Ah, I fucking knew it. Hey, there's always a one bastard. One person on the fence without naming any names, we'll open this to the group. What is the supporting evidence that shows that Trevor is liable? And again, this is for everyone. Oh, yet again, he's so nice. I would literally be stood there like, right, who's the fucking idiot, okay? <laughs> who's the person that has to make this more complicated than it has to be? But, I mean, I hope it's over as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, and I feel the opposite. Ross. He's the one, the one. Honestly, I think he's doing this because he wants us to stay here. <laughs> All right, that's the storyline, is it, right? Ross is the only one who's voted liable because he wants us to carry on because his life outside of this is fucked up and because his wife's left him. It's a good storyline, I guess. To heartache, so. Too aggressive. This is about self-love. This is not self-love. Um, was he trying to do what? I think he was tr Okay, right, let's move on. I, I just really like hanging out with you guys. Okay, so if we can just stretch it a little bit. Listen, I got nothing going on at home. How oh, do you get yourself out of this then, Ron? We just gotta, we gotta focus, you know, and I think you gotta set our feelings aside. And again, I'm sorry, man. I can only imagine. Again, he's been very we've, nice. We've gotta get this finished. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if he's gonna get some work out of this because I'm pretty sure this show is fairly big now. So he has probably gained a pretty decent following from this. 
So I wonder if he is going to get, like, brand deals and stuff. You never know. Ronald would be great at promoting NordVPN, let me tell you. I feel like that was my second NordVPN joke throughout this recording. God, I should probably invoice them. I'd be all right with me. Wait, li okay, liable or not liable? L or N, right? First one, not liable. Oh, good start. Right, let's second keep it going. One. Defendant is not liable. Beautiful. Great work. Last one. Not liable. Beautiful work. Oh, well done, my team. Gosh. We did Ronald, you should be proud. The look at Ron. Sat there like the boss he is. <laughs> like, I don't mean to get political or anything, but I know America's been a bit split on presidents recently, but have we ever thought maybe Ron could get the role? Because he showed some great leadership skills throughout this. We find the defendant, Trevor Julian Morris, not liable. <sighs> get in charge of negligent infliction of emotional distress. We find the defendant, Trevor Julian Morris, not liable. Come on, Trev. Take a seat here. I just got one more formality. Can I see the verdict, please? Oh, is this where they're going to tell him? Because I'm not a real judge. <laughs> and you're not a real so court confused. person. so confused. This is not a real case. What? He's shaking. Oh, what a cliffhanger. Fuck, I'm really getting into this. <laughs> right, you know what? It's actually getting late, so I was going to go to bed, but I need to watch the final episode now. <laughs> Oh, here we go. The final part. Make sure we have that clean shot to his eye. Oh, we're getting some BTS. The judge. It's nerve wracking. They're all so nervous. Mr. Four Person, could you come up here with the verdict? All right, here we go. Ready, guys? Here we go. Oh, shit. This is class. I like how they've done this. Each of your fellow jurors, <laughs> as well as the defendant, the plaintiff, Bailiff Nikki, myself, we're all actors. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Man, imagine you saw how planned. confused you'd what be. I'm saying is, you'd have trust issues for a long time, that's for sure. Even though the case of Hillgrove versus Morris wasn't real, there was most definitely a trial held inside this courthouse. You were presented day after day with countless challenges, responsibilities, and ethical dilemmas. You knew Mr. Marsden called the sequestration of his proper. <laughs> He's so confused. You refused to accept Ken's two thousand dollars, even though you beat him at Ute Fair and Square. I promise I will owe you. No, 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 no. Which, by the way, all those rules made up didn't exist. You took the blame. He's so confused. For Marsden's giant ship. <laughs> And I tell you what, that's actually the best thing he's doing throughout this whole series. I get that he didn't take the $2,000 from the bet and all that stuff, but he took responsibility for someone else's shit. So in my eyes, he's a hero. And we've decided that you, Ronald Gladden, are a hero. Come on, Ron. In recognition my guy. of your service, your kindness and strength of character, I hereby award you the sum of $100 thousand dollars oh congratulations Ronald. what shit i didn't realize that. Fuck, where do i sign up a hundred grand because he was a good person fuck i'm gonna be looking off the cameras everywhere i go from now on <laughs> are you being serious congratulations oh my god no i'll even blame the gavel if you want <laughs> come on Ron. Oh, bless him, man. It doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. I I thought it was a joke at first, but then it's like everything just kept happening. So I don't know. <laughs> bless him. To be fair, right, if we're being serious for a second, he was unbelievably kind throughout all of this. When in some cases, he probably didn't have to be. And uh, yeah, good bloke. They picked the good guy. Are you a real cop? No. <laughs> <laughs> For a week as well, you know, that's so long. Ronald was like so in it, but then he stopped and took a moment with me and was like, so you're not a real cop? And I was like, not, not even a chance. That meant so much to me just because it was like, I wanted to be the best bailiff up in this joint. Can we just say for a second though, like how impressive this is for the actors. Like they stayed in character for a week straight, improvised for obviously a lot of it because they're not gonna remember a script for a week. <laughs> and they clearly made them believe it. So yeah, they're very talented. I'm only going off the thing I've seen on Family Guy and that's probably not <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> Wait, what was it? And he just said it. No, no, no. <laughs> Look no, at them buzzing behind no, the scenes. No. <laughs> 
Oh, this would have been so sick to be a part of, man. I wasn't even thinking about, like, the, the backstage stuff, if you want to call it that. But they were clearly having the time of their lives. So behind this mirror is a camera. What's going on with you, man? That corner has a camera. Oh. Got a camera behind this door. You know, I was wondering throughout this, like, how he wasn't suspicious, but, like, when you actually see the work that's went into it, you can kind of understand, right? I accidentally called a juror by her real name. That's Cassandra's bag. Can one of y'all grab her bag for her? Who's is it? Cassandra. Cassandra? My name's oh, Cassandra. Oh, fuck. This is actually nuts. Surely, just to be safe, the actors should have just like went by their real names, because what difference does it make? And then you can never really mess up, and you'll, you'll always remember what you're supposed to be called. No? So when I say, hey, that's Cassandra bag, you are who I'm Oh, with. plan B. I like it. Nice to see you again, Cassandra. Thank you. They were smart. They were really smart. People had to figure out how to um, order lunch for people so that it would ah. seem like it was coming at a specific time from the court. Wait, so you're telling me that Todd doesn't have all these cool gadgets, eh? He doesn't actually just sit on demand with his crutches? Fuck, my life really is a lie. 17 days. What the f They really put this blog through some shit, didn't they? It sucks yeah, that this was, like, reasons. staged. Because, man, you have no idea how many people I was going to tell about that. <laughs> you have no idea, man. <laughs> James Marsden went down there and jumped on a bed so that they could have <laughs> sex that's not sex. See, I would be devastated that I don't have the cool stories to tell people anymore. That's what I'd be disappointed about. Ronald Till keeps in touch with the cast. That's sick. Oh, class, they actually did actually hang out. I hope they do all stay mates, you know, because this is a very unique experience, very clearly, especially for Ron. Um, oh, I'm sure, is that his girlfriend in the background? God, how lovely. Thank you for uh, serving jury duty. <laughs> yeah, it's my... Oh, wait, actually, so because this wasn't real, I still could potentially get called for jury duty. Wait, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, and he actually gets called for jury duty, thinks it's fake, and then stands up and probably says he's a racist because he thinks he's part of the joke. Probably wouldn't do that about you, mate. And there we have it. That is the full season of jury duty. And you know what? I enjoyed it. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it because in the first episode, it was like a little bit slow. But then I definitely got into it. I was hooked by the end. I'll give it a... Uh, oh, am I going to do a rating system for all of these in the future? I'll give it an 8 out of 10, which is really good, right? But obviously you can have better shows. For what it is, 8 out of 10. But yeah, that is it for the video. I would love to know in the comment section down below if you do want me to carry on doing this as a bit of a series. I realise this is a much longer video than what you're used to from me on any of my channels, but if you do want me to carry this on, like I said, let me know and I will do it. And yeah, also, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and also let me know what you want me to watch next and, like, the next reaction. And uh, yeah, until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, alright? Goodbye.